I'm Don Johnson, Tech Service Manager for FMC. I cover the states of Arkansas, Louisiana, and Mississippi. Today we're in Stoneville, Mississippi at the Mississippi State Research and Extension Center. I'm standing in front of a row rice trial which is being conducted by Dr. Jason Bond, weed scientist at Mississippi State. It's my understanding that as much as 30% of the rice acres this year in the Mid-South was put into row rice production. And some of the yields I'm hearing about this year, uh, it wouldn't surprise me if those acres didn't increase in 2021. But when we look at rice typically is grown in paddies, which means you've got the ability to uh, move water across those fields or put a permanent flood on those fields. It's very labor intense. With land preparation, you got to pull levees, maintain those levees, insert gates so you can uniformly move water across those fields, and then hold the flood later on in the season. With row rice or, or fur irrigated rice, it's less labor intensive because you're moving water up and down the, the rows, in between the rows in the rice. So there's less labor needed for row rice, there's less water needed for row rice. One increasing cost though we're seeing is herbicide cost because you don't have that flood that's gonna help you uh, control some of your weeds during the season. With row rice you're gonna spend money on at least one to two more herbicide applications. And as I mentioned before, we're in front of a row rice trial here at Stoneville. FMC has sponsored several row rice trials throughout the Mid-South. We know that the, the weed spectrum may change, uh, residuals may be shorter from herbicides in row rice production. So we're gonna evaluate these trials uh, this fall look at what combinations of herbicides best fit row rice production in the Mid-South. So we talked about rice herbicide programs. Let's, I want to talk to you a little bit about Command 3ME microencapsulated herbicide from FMC. No matter what the ricing system is, whether it's row rice, conventional rice, clear fill rice, full page rice, or provisia rice, you know, Command 3ME fits all those systems. We know that the number one problematic weed in rice production is barnyard grass. We also know it's been documented that herbicides have shown multiple mode of action resistance to barnyard grass. So in other words, we need to start clean and maintain overlapping residual activities until we get to the flood or in row rice until we get to canopy. Command 3ME herbicide is the number one rice pre-emerge herbicide in rice production. It controls grasses like barnyard grass, broadleaf single grass, sprangle top, and goose grass, just to name a few. The University of Arkansas weed scientists have made the statement that 90 plus percent of the rice acres in Arkansas have command or clomazone used on them as a pre-emerge herbicide and there's no reason why 100% of those acres do not use Command 3ME in order to manage resistant barnyard grass. So let's talk about the Command 3ME formulation and the active ingredient clomazone. Clomazone was discovered by FMC back in 1979 at our research facilities in Princeton, New Jersey. The US EPA approved the first in-use product Command 4EC herbicide in 1986. With the Command 4EC formulation, there was a tendency under applications on high moisture soil content to, to see secondary drift issues, better known as volatility. In 1996, after reviewing and testing over 100 different formulations, FMC discovered Command 3ME microencapsulated herbicide, the product we have today. Some of the new generic clomazone products claim to be microencapsulated herbicides, but none of them reduce the amount of volatility like Command 3ME does. 
If you take a look at this soybean field, you can see in the distance symptomology from chromosome movement on the tree line. In the next picture, in the forefront, you see the rice field where the generic chromosome was applied. And the distance from that field to the tree line is over 900 feet. So the product got up and moved off target. With Command 3 and Me, it's been around for 24 years. It's time tested and proven to provide good grass and weed control and at the same time reduce the amount of volatility from the old 4EC herbicide product. Upon behalf of FMC, I'd like to thank the rice growers who stayed with Command 3 and Me this year and used brand Command. We really do appreciate it. Also, to let you know that FMC is working hard to develop new herbicides, especially new mode of action herbicides. The first one coming out is a rice herbicide. It's a novel mode of action, safe on rice, and controls grasses in rice. We're expecting that registration sometime in 2024 or 2025, so that gives you something good to look forward to. We appreciate it, and again, thank you for your business.